good day, tennis fans, and welcome back to Tennis Now's Countdown Show. Tennis players are incredible athletes, and an important part of staying in shape is watching what you eat. So what do tennis players eat? Let's take a look at the top tennis eating habits. Patty Schneider was convinced by her coach that it would be helpful, helpful to her game to drink three liters of orange juice a day and to become a vegan. Schneider had a 17-year career, so maybe there was something to all that vitamin C. Ever since Venus Williams discovered she was suffering from the autoimmune disease of Sjogren's syndrome, Williams has changed her diet and become a vegan. I changed my diet completely, so lots of vegetables. I altered my mind frame completely because I used to be the person that ate their steak first and their salad second. Williams also drinks a lot of juices now for energy boosts. When practicing as a child, every time Marianne Bartoli hit a target, her father would reward her with candy. Since then, Bartoli has developed a big sweet tooth and indulges her candy cravings every now and then. On her arrival in the United States, Martina Navratilova fell in love with the American fast food chains, and she put on a great deal of weight. Yes, I Big Mac'd across America, Navratilova recalled of those days. Thus, she soon banned cheeseburgers and binged instead on steamed vegetables. During changeovers, you can occasionally catch Maria Sharapova snacking out a banana. And at the 2006 U.S. Open, the banana lover sparked an illegal co coaching controversy with her father, who looked over at her and held up a banana, reminding her to eat. If someone tells me to eat a banana, do you think that's the reason why I'm going to win a match? This is great advice. We should tell all the junior players to, you know, have a banana, and we'll all they're all going to win. Great. In 2010, Marty Fish cut out the junk food to lose 30 pounds in three months. You see a lot of guys go downhill as they get older, but I'm going the other way, and that's mostly because of my diet, Fish said. Fish cut out foods like pizzas and cheeseburgers. The young Canadian Milos Raonic enjoys his red meat. Raonic likes to enjoy a medium rare steak that's a little bloody the night before his matches. In 2010, Novak Djokovic adopted the diet that changed tennis. His team discovered Djokovic is allergic to gluten, and after adjusting his diet, he lost weight and began moving better. Before the diet, Djokovic had to regularly deal with allergies and breathing difficulties. And since the diet change, Djokovic has won five Grand Slams. We established I'm allergic to food ingredients like gluten. It means I can't eat stuff like pizza, pastas, and bread. No one loves sushi as much as Andy Murray does. Andy's record is about 50 pieces of sushi in one sitting. And like Djokovic, Murray has adopted the gluten-free diet. The diet has given me more energy. I miss being able to pick up a menu and order what I want, or what I want to eat. Like bread when you're waiting for your food to come at a restaurant. It, it can be quite frustrating when everyone else is dunking their bread in olive oil or smearing it with butter. It's also a bit of a pain not to be able to eat regular yogurt, but hey, it's worth it. That's it for our top tennis eating habits. Be sure to check us out at TennisNow.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.